One of the things I do on this show is reply to other people's scam emails so they don't have to, freeing you guys up to do whatever normal people do to pass the time. I don't know what that is. I'm guessing drugs. <laughs> so, this is an email someone sent me. They received this tasty and genuine-looking offer in their inbox. Here it is. Hello, I am Mr. Yusuf Dixon, gold export manager, contractor by profession. I need your assistant of transferring $26.500 million in your country. <laughs> I wait to hear from you. So I wrote back, what's this about? But I didn't write that as me. I set up a fake account in the name of DIY SOS host Nick Knowles. <laughs> Yusuf wrote straight back to Nick Knowles and said, Like I said, I would like you to receive the money, then help me to come over to your country for shearing. <laughs> I'm guessing he meant sharing, but I prefer shearing, to be honest. Uh, then he wrote, Now I want you to send me your own passport, your address and your phone number. Now, I don't have Nick Knowles' phone number or passport because, believe it or not, I'm not Nick Knowles. So I wrote back, Hi, Yusuf. It's great to hear from you. Thank you for shearing me. <laughs> I'm not sure where my passport is. Will this do for what you need? And then I attach this. It's a fake young person's rail card. <laughs> belonging to Nick Knowles, who is 56. <laughs> Yusuf replied, I'm a little bit surprised to hear you said you don't know where your passport is. <laughs> At this point, I should have backed down. Should have, but absolutely didn't. And instead I wrote this. I've been looking for my passport all day. My wife said it was in the kitchen cupboard, but there was nothing there but cling film. <laughs> it is not the first time she has lied to me. <laughs> Now, you might presume at this point this is where Yusuf runs out of patience. No, it's the point where he writes this. Hello, my friend. I understand. We have to wait till your wife gives back your passport from the kitchen cupboard. Thank you. <laughs> yes, we have to wait for pretend Nick Knowles' imaginary wife to give me my passport back from my non-existent kitchen cupboard. I decided it was time for Nick's pretend wife to get involved. I called her Linda Bin and I set up an email account for her. Here she is. That's her. She's, she's lactose intolerant, but she still drinks loads of milk, cos YOLO. <laughs> I emailed back to Yusuf as Linda. I wrote, Yusuf, please stop emailing Nick. He is not to be trusted. He slept with my friend and I've had to move to Bosnia. I will happily take your offer in his place, Linda Bin. Now, at this point, you or I would realise this is totally insane, but not Yusuf, because he wrote, Hello, my dear Linda Bin. <laughs> Thank you so much for telling me in time who your husband is. I'm happy to have you by my side as my partner. I've finalised everything with the manager. The only fees you will pay is clearing fees, which is €1,210 only. So what this is, is an advance fee scam. They're promising us big money if we make them a smaller payment up front. So it was time for Linda to let Yusuf down, and she wrote... My dear Yusuf, Nick and I haven't been getting on for a long time. Things aren't right in the bedroom. Actually, things aren't right in every room. My friends think I'm crazy. They say I'll patch things up with Nick, that you're clearly a con man. But I know the only crime you're guilty of is loving too much. <laughs> and fraud. <laughs> I'm ready to start a new life with you, Yusuf. Let's take that 26 million and run away together. I can go anywhere with a third off using Nick's young person's rail car. <laughs> Love, Linda. I receive no further reply. Another scammer frightened off. Happy to help. You're welcome. Yeah.